they took their time but eventually most global fast food chains have made it to india there are more on the wish list but they will have to be prepared for a certain alteration to their menu one product that brings all these brands to their knees when they enter india is paneer and the paneer lobby seems to be infiltrating its way through the food chain a vegetarian delight this protein supplying cheesy result of curdling hot milk has created an identity for itself over the years by giving some famous indian non vegetarian delicacies a run for their curry that is understandable though as the style of cooking originated in the indian subcontinent as did paneer but here is a list of food that was never originally vision with it in between or on top but they just have to include it when they enter india and why well who better than seema arora nambiar of mcdonald's india to answer that we do know that a large part of our country is vegetarian <laughs> Paneer actually adds a premiumness to the uh, the whole vegetarian um, repertoire that you know every menu really has. Um, on the other side, from a culinary standpoint, I think it's a fantastic protein to work with. It's actually the the non-vegetarian replacement in a lot of meals, and which is why it became critical for our menu to be able to have something to do with paneer, still be global in in flavor and taste. Right. But why did a chain like yours that was never started with the intention of serving paneer burgers do so? The original burger was always meat. Right. So I think uh, there are a couple of points. So one, I mean if I talk about it from a pure uh, marketing standpoint, I think it is uh, it's very clearly the premium most vegetarian item that you can ever get. You know, because when even when you see a lot of the international guys come in, some of their questions a lot of them actually come to india and only eat the paneer burger when they come to visit us because they don't get it anywhere else well let's put it another way how badly will business be affected if you were to stop paneer items altogether from a business perspective i think uh, it completes the menu it would be a very very incomplete vegetarian menu if you didn't have uh, the paneer side of it because paneer is really the premium part of the vegetarian menu just as you would probably have a uh, you know whole muscle uh, chicken breast which would be the part of the non vegetarian menu and as a result of it from a consumer standpoint i think the expectation very clearly is they do expect to see that premiumness when i want to indulge one of the reasons most customers give us for going out is celebration and with family At that point if you do not have that completeness with the vegetarian menu it will be hard for customers to come to you because finally otherwise you're you're pretty much left you know between a potato and maybe a few lentils that you can use since it is highly unlikely that paneer will ever be banned it might be a smart idea to start developing a taste for it if you haven't already as that may just be all you're left with if the current state of food policing continues <laughs>